by a world class player with a world class finish. Um, it probably wouldn't even count as a chance if he was doing it on that way. So, yeah, really proud of him, but obviously disappointed in the end. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, we've worked hard. We've worked hard on our shape this week. We've done a lot of uh, good work, and ultimately, you know, just come up short. I think our one defend, one defending was really good. We defended the combination play really well. Um, probably up until the goal, which is ultimately has undone us. Um, but yeah, we've got a good group here. Um, and I was really pleased with them. And the challenge for us now is to take that on into League One because we shouldn't be where we are, but we are. And that's the reality of it. But we have to move them performances into uh, League One week in, week out. Yeah, and every game's different. You know, it's, we, 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 uh, we had a plan for today. Um, and it nearly worked. Just probably lacked that one golden chance at our end. And I think maybe Harry Kane plays for us today. We we might have gone through, um, but I'm sure that's going to happen. Um, yeah. So it is. It is being, and we just have to move on. We've got no time to sit and uh, lick our wounds. We go to Bolton on Monday to play Tuesday night, and we're up and down on the. Um, the country this week, so refresh as many as we got. We won't be getting many bodies back to that group, so that group's going to have to go again. But you know, I was really proud of them. I thought they emptied the tank today, and ultimately, that's our challenge. We have to empty the tank every week. Yeah, I said in the huddle at the end, listen to the listen to him, listen to the crowd, you know, honesty, hard work, they'll clap that. And we need to give them that. Um, and I thought they were brilliant today. The crowd and the players. Is that what you said we did in that huddle? Yeah, in the huddle at the end. Yeah. Only that. A couple of other things that probably can't say out loud. Um, but yeah, so I was really pleased with the players. And I say our challenge is to take that performance and, and that um, effort and that unity into uh, every week in League One because we're better than where we are. I, I don't really talk much in the change room because I think that's their place. You know, certainly at Tottenham when you've got them, uh, your coaches have got their own change room, which is like a three bedroom house. Um, so you don't have to be in, in the change room, but I think the change room really is one of match days for the players. And I came and i done, we done all our work at the hotel this morning. They had a brief spoke briefly with them before the game um, then a little pep talk before we came out and then come out sit on the bench and then leave the last little bit to them and after the game so you speak on the pitch then fans deserve to see their players and they deserve to get a clap they got um, I say them in the change room that's back to the players and they can recover and take their protein on and, and uh, we got a tough week so we need to recover well Excellent, yeah, absolutely excellent. I told him at the end that he plays like that, he'll play here every week. Probably not Tottenham because he's an Arsenal fan, um, but certainly at this stage, I thought it was a top, top class performance. You've seen him arrive in the summer, how much has he developed and progressed? Yeah, I mean, still lots of work to do. Still lots of work to do, and we've been working with Zach. He's been a work in progress since the summer. Um, but yeah, you know, we can dead the levels. You play at that level, we know what he's capable of. Zach's challenge is now to go again, go again, and go again. And one, I've got loads of faith in him to do. What did you like about his performance? 1v1 defending was excellent. You know, you come to a place like this, you have to defend well 1v1, and I thought, um, I thought his 1v1 defend was really good, I thought his pass selection was good. Yeah, he played the full game, he played it out, he still had legs in him at the end. You, you turned to him at the testing this season because of all the injuries, and he threw it in the deep end, and he saw it superb. It's hard, isn't it? You know, he, he came as a development player, so to speak, you know. We brought a senior right back in in Joe, 
Uh, Rafferty, and he's obviously had his injury problems. Zach's came in and he had his injury problems. Kieran's had his injury problems. We've had to change shape because we haven't had a right back, you know, for 12, 10 games, and it's it's difficult and probably affects some of the results we've had along the way. Um, to get Zach back was a real bonus for us. You know, we've got flexibility to play our back four now, which you know ultimately I think we would have preferred to play this season. We started this season with a back four and done well with it. We changed that necessity because we never had a right back. Um, but to get one back, two back today, because Kieran was on the bench, is good. To get Zach playing the way he played today uh, was excellent for us and really good going forward, hopefully. Jay has um, got a grade two medial ligament. Um, I'm hoping six weeks, six to eight weeks. He just rode a challenge in training the other day and opened his knee up. He had it scanned. Um, he'll be in a brace for a couple of weeks probably, um, just for safety reasons uh, for Jay really. Um, but yeah, not good, but better than terrible. Good question. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I just never told you Friday. He was ill before that as well. He was you know, he's he's been ill, he's had a uh, we've had a his bug going around it. I've had for eight weeks I think, can't get rid of the cough. Um, Dane's had it for three weeks, uh, Jay's had it. It's, it's difficult, he spends so much time together. Um, just people pick, pick things up and we, we work closely together so it's it's difficult but yeah he was over the he was over the bug. Um, and today would have been a really good day for Jay because you come to places like this, you need athletic boys and Jay's really athletic. And like Zach, he's he's coming as well, isn't he? He's getting that way, he's getting consistency of performance. You know, he's had some really, really high moments and he's had some moments but not so high. Um, so the challenge, as I say, to all of us, but certainly to the players, is, is consistency of performance. And I think if you're going to play at the top level, they play at the top level because they, they're good every week. You know, they're, never, they're not eights and fours. You know, they're, they're sixes if they're terrible. And they're eights and then they're tens when they're brilliant. You know, we have to, we have to play to an eight more as a group. Yeah, please. I was born in Yellowfoot and Castle, grew up a Wimbledon fan when my parents moved. Um, I came to the first game at the stadium, Crystal Palace, a few years ago. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a marvellous place. Really privileged and honoured to take a team here. You know, I've been coaching probably 20 years now, just over from where I started to today's a, a big jump, obviously. Um, yeah, my parents were here to see it, my wife and son were here to see it, so I'm really proud of that. Um, and I'm only just disappointed we, we just uh, couldn't see it through. And then, and what about Riley Tower, obviously, uh, just through the door? Is he here today? Is, it, is he watching somewhere? He may have been watching somewhere. He was uh, not here today. He's back in Bristol. I'm led to believe getting his, all his stuff together. He'll come Monday. He'll train with the boys Monday. He's cup tied to. Um, at Bolton, so he'll train at the, at the training ground with the fitness guys while we're away um, and then join the group on Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, you know, I think it's been a good loan, certainly for, for Dane and, and us also. Um, obviously a young boy, super talented, you know, brilliant kid, humble, hardworking, everything you look for in a top player. Um, and he'll be a top player, I've got no doubt of that. Um, so yeah, I, I see no reason that uh, Tottenham want to 
um, call him back. And if they do, I'm sure we'll take Harry Kane off them instead. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've watched him about five or six times this year. Yeah. Um, yeah, got lots of good attributes. Young, left footed, six foot two, not slow, can step in and it diags, can play through the lines. So, you know, if they're really hard to find left footers. Um, so a young one with, um, you know, he's played 20 games, I think, for Wimbledon this year. He played some games for Grimsby before. Um, we've probably, I've been across him for probably a couple of years now. Um, just hard to find when you see left footers who are six foot two and not slow. You keep an eye on him. Um, and he's one we kept an eye on. And, um, Richard Hughes, sporting director, has done a brilliant job getting it over the line for us. So I'm just on the point of time, were you surprised Bristol City were sort of really part ways with the deal? Uh, still, still just 20 and as you say, quite rare, uh, a rare set of attributes and, and it's sort of impressed so much forward with his first ever real run of games in senior team. Yeah, yeah, but obviously they got their reasons. Um, I don't know. You know, I mean, he's a smashing kid. Riley Taylor, if one at Wimbledon I speak to, tell me he's a really good kid, so he'll benefit the group. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to have him on my quiz team. Um, but no, you just say really good attributes, really good personality. Um, so one we're looking forward to working with. Just don't ask him any questions about the Yeah, not if you want to get away in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, he done really well. He done really well. They, I mean, they was really pleased with him. Uh, the manager phoned me the other day to have a go at me, jokingly. Jacko telling me to stop nicking his players. Well, I'm telling him that he weren't actually his player, he was Bristol City's. Um, but yeah, you know, again, from the first time I saw him to the fifth or sixth time I saw him, the improvement's huge. And these young players will get better with games. They need games. Sometimes it's at Portsmouth. Sometimes it might be alone. But, you know, you only learn when you're playing. It's the best teacher in the world, the game of football. Um, so, yeah, he, he offers us a, a real good option going forward. And is it, is it great patience required here? Is, it not, is he ready now to get first? Well, that's, um, that's up to him. Really, you know, as busy as with all of them, you know, they come, there's an opportunity, there's a springboard here, there's a shop window here, there's, a, there's game time here. We ain't blessed with a lot of players at the moment. So, you know, if, you know, if he's fit and, and ready, then I'll find out whether he's good enough and ready at the moment. But I've got every confidence in him um, from what I've seen that he'll be a really good asset to this football club. Uh, did Danny contact you before this game? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Danny by text. Um, I think he's gone away. Um, he texted me this morning and said that I deserve it and enjoy it. I texted him back saying, I wish it was you because I've been awake since half four, <laughs> <laughs> which is the truth. Um, but yeah, um, class act, Danny and Nicky, class, you know, won't have anything said against them, two really good guys, good football people, um, and yeah, I expect nothing less than two, I'll check my phone when I get back, I'm pretty sure I'll have a message uh, from both, because they're, they're genuine, honest, good guys. That, that that yeah, always. You know, Danny, when he spoke to us on Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday, um, said that he don't like doing this because he's an emotional guy. And I said, well, I better stay outside because I'm an emotional guy as well. Um, when you work closely with people like we have um, together, it's, it, it's sad. And as I say, I've said before, we all have to take some responsibility for for two people losing their job and two good people. So no one's 
no one comes out of the last 12 games, 14 games with any credit. Certainly not myself and certainly not the other staff. Yeah, so sort of raising a couple of players this week, it's all about focusing on the players in the past. No, no, they've been, they've been good. They've been good. I'm pretty clear with them. You know, I don't leave too many grey areas for them. You know, I want them to enjoy coming to work. Um, I hope they've done that this week. Um, and when we move forward, we've got another tough week, a week where we're going to spend a lot of time together. So, yeah, I've got, um, I've got, we've got no problems within the group. They're a, they're a really good group. Thank you.